Hello everyone, welcome back to Heria channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, hide a rows and rename sheet based on cell value automatically using apps script uh, in Google Sheet. Okay, it is very useful uh, to manage our data um, to show the database uh, in here i show the database of student to create a, a table of a grade or a student a progress uh, we can uh, use uh, the data in uh, database sheet like this we can create number column class column and name column uh, we can fill the data with the name uh, of student in every class here there are uh, seven one class seven two class and uh, so on okay uh, after we have a database of student name we can show in here you can see uh, like this a table of uh, student grade and uh, the table we can uh, fill later with the score uh, for a very student okay i will show you how to uh, change or rename sheet based on server uh, in this case i use uh, ring the for uh, cell to execute the uh, script or to change the seat name just uh, select uh, it on the drop down also the seat will change okay uh, let me show you how to do that okay uh, if we select another class maybe class 72 uh, the seat will change and the data will change uh, it is the best script for uh, execution okay like this uh, in seven two class there are 32 students uh, and the last row is the 38th row 38th row with the student uh, contain 32 student and I will select a uh, class 73 the data will change and the number of the student there are 20 students uh, the last row is 26 row uh, if we unhide this row so we can see the blank cell will automatically hide by the script okay um, after we create uh, one class we can duplicate with another class and in new sheet we can uh, rename with a different class uh, here is the first 
class seven one maybe and here we can change with seven two maybe okay and we can use this table to build the data or score or create all everything in here okay to do that uh, we use extension menu we can use a parcel app script after we select we can uh, type the script here the script is for function rename sheet uh, we, we name uh, sheet with this script uh, variable split sheet a separate sheet f get active we use the active sit here every we select the class in ring or cell the for okay for ring of separate get ring the for it is drop down to select the class get value to get the value separate sit get active sit set name rank based on the rank here okay uh, uh, and another script is function hydro and function execute the function hydro is uh, to either row if uh, the row in a very class uh, blank or not data okay the blank cell or row will hide automatically uh, we can uh, type here by variable sheet shift sheet sheet and get active sheet by data sheet get data rank get value sheet show row uh, before we uh, uh, execute the hydro uh, we should uh, show row uh, for the table in this case it so row uh, begin from the six row and before the 45 row after we saw the row from first data of name until the last name data uh, we can a looping data with this script for variable we can start we can with six row and before 45 if data i row here uh, from six row seven row until 45 row with a zero column the zero column is a column okay the zero row is the first row in this sheet uh, up if data i zero column mm, equal blank or is not contain data we can uh, reduce it hydro i plus one and we can uh, save the script after we create hydro script we continue to create function execute and the function will execute the hydro script with the trigger we will uh, create that we will create uh, later okay function execute function execute get 
active sheet we call the active sheet uh, variable checklist uh, sheet catering default default is the chapter one to select the class uh, you can uh, change the get the link with you have with your data if checklist uh, uh, get value hydros we can call on the hydro okay we close with the sign or symbol uh, after we create the script we create the trigger the post trigger or uh, rename sheet we can see rename sheet choose which function to run uh, select event source from separate sheet select event type on edit we can save it save this and we can continue to execute a script to run on edit select open on edit on edit okay we can save this uh, after finishing uh, the script uh, and the trigger we create we can uh, practice uh, it okay i now i want to practice it first we can select another class here is class 7 one i change with 7 two. the data will change there are 32 student the last row is 38 row and I select uh, 7 3 class the row 20 student on data the last row is 26 row ok ok we have uh, manage the data we can duplicate this sheet and we can change with another class okay Attention, there are 20 students, it is 73, and I select 74, the data opening will change. Okay, the number of students will change. According to the database uh, that we have created before in this table. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.